Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Saturday evening episode of Ted's Boo. Celebrate with me, your most gracious host, Ted. It is currently uh, 14 minutes to 7 on the 15th of January 2021. I hope I'm coming to you all in a good state of affairs, and if I am not, then I hope things improve very promptly. You guys probably saw my food review episode earlier today. It's my first food review, I think, in a about over a year so i hope you guys enjoyed that but i just really fancy doing an episode of ted's boozer in the meantime as well um and we're going to review another one of the uh british ales that my auntie got me for christmas um we're going to do a drink that's a little bit different to that kind of british amber ale sort of thing tomorrow but I thought I'd continue on with that uh, variety box that she gave me. So today we're going to be taking a look at another Shepherd Neem um, ale. And this time it's Master Brew, the uh, original Kentish ale. Um, let's see, Shepherd Neem was built in... Sorry, Shepherd Neem has brew, built its brewing reputation on Master Brew, the original Kentish ale. Benefiting from the same EU protection afforded to Champagne, this iconic beer combines malted barley with renowned varieties of Kentish hops such as Admiral, Target and Goldings. So all very classic old-fashioned style British um, beer components there, but with the same principle as Champagne. Hmm. That does sound pretty good. I mean, Champagne is obviously a very, like, uh, sort of protected, sort of like, almost way of life in a sense. Um part of like French alcohol and uh, food so I'm interested to see how that will translate into something a bit more um, well British I guess so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm liking the sound of that very nice uh, packaging as well good mixture of like chrome white black and uh, emerald green um, nice image there of like an old um, ale brewing farm as well so yeah, very nice stuff. Very handsome. Good solid 8 out of 10 for the labelling and the packaging. Um, but anyway, if I can f actually find my uh, bottle opener, we'll then see how this sucker smells. Um, you know, you never come to the uh, Ted's Boo Cellar channel for any efficiency, so... I'll have to find that wine corker thing because I've got some wine that I was going to have later with dinner but anyway we'll have ourselves a quick snifter of this um, so hmm. just smells like a standard gold beer nothing to really much write home about but it does smell very palatable so good 6 out of 10 it's not a bad 6 out of 10 for the nose but it's just like not that remarkable so I mean but then again, like, I always feel that, like, a nose doesn't really have to count for as much with, like, a beer as it would, say, like, a wine or a whiskey. So, but then again, what do I know? So, anyway, we'll have ourselves a quick palate cleanser of water. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to see what this sucker tastes like. So, to everyone at home, bottoms up, and I hope you continue to have a good weekend. Oh, that's very interesting. You know what? It kind of has the fizz. Not quite the same as champagne, but it has sort of like that same sort of like light, massed fizz. Um, but the texture actually generally is fairly smooth. And then um, with the um, flavour, it's so interesting because you've got this kind of through line, like in the main body of the flavour that kind of feels like gold beer and then the main flavour is kind of like an amber ale which is kind of what I expected obviously but then the like, finish it has this kind of like that kind of coppery consistency that you'd expect from like a bitter so it's a real mixture of like three different very different but like very nice types of British beer so um but they all like and they all like stand out very starkly against each other but like they do sort of like meld together fairly well especially when combined with that fizz that complements the sort of mostly smooth mm -hmm. texture mm. and despite being a, what is admittedly a very fizzy um, ale 
that is really smooth and easy to go down. It just goes right down. Like This is definitely a relaxation beer. So yeah, very nice stuff. Um, really, really enjoying this. I'm going to go 8.25. I think the aftertaste could be sort of like mellowed down a little bit. Um, and the texture could be a little bit smoother, but generally speaking, I'm very pleased with this. It could even go up to an 8.5, to be honest, um, placing in it in an elite level. So, yeah, really, really solid. Really, really enjoy that. Very, very thoroughly recommended. So, um, and it's um, and it's only 4% alcohol volume either, uh, either, so um, it's not going to really knock you off your socks, unless you, I guess you haven't had anything to eat so far that day before drinking this. But then again, that's kind of the case with any alcohol. So... Yeah, very solid. Very, very nice relaxing beer. But if you guys like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want to check out anything else online uh, that I do, I'll leave the links to all that in the video description down below. But until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wash your hands, take a mask with you to the shops, drink responsibly, know your limits. I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.